Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to take a quick tour of the camera app in Windows 10. Like Windows 8, Windows 10 has a camera app to use your webcam or the camera on your tablet um, or laptop. It's included which is nice, you know, it's not like Windows 7 or before where you had to have third-party software often to have a camera working. Now it's included. It's not complicated to use. We'll have a little tour here if you ever want to use it. So the camera app, you can go and search for it at the bottom left in Cortana. Just type camera and you'll see camera trusted Windows store app. You can also click the start button, go into all apps. It's in the letter C for camera. You click and immediately it should show up. If you don't see yourself or don't see a picture like you see here, that means that it's probably um, either the camera is disabled in your privacy settings, maybe your camera needs drivers that aren't compatible right now, needs new drivers. So update the drivers, but usually it starts automatically. On the right side here, you have camera. You can, of course, click and do like this. There it goes. Picture taken. And you hear a little click, by the way. Or you click the video. And when it's on video, you see the timer at the bottom and you can click the video camera. Here it goes. Starts to record. Timer. You click again to stop. You have to click the camera icon. And uh, you've got the options on the upper right, which is the options of the photo timer. So if you want to have a delay, for example, take a selfie, you might want to place yourself correctly. Or you can continue taking photos every five seconds, which is a cool thing because you can, you know, let it take 10, 20, 50 pictures of you. And you can afterwards choose which one is looks interesting. And you also have in the options at the upper right settings. The settings are um, the type of how, for example, your computer um, will work with the camera. So here, for example, uh, photo burst, which is an extremely fast number of pictures taken, video disabled, depending on what the, you know, if you press and hold the button, what it does. You have in photos aspect ratio, that's the ratio, for example, 69 is like a big screen TV, 4-3, um, very squarish, like an old TV style. Uh, 1610 is also some kind of a big screen TV, it's a little different. Um, some computers have a screen that is 1610. Uh, you can have grids, framing grids. So you can have uh, different types of grids. You just use a grid and you choose it. Here it goes. You get a grid so you can actually, you know, know how to place stuff if you need help in uh, the dimensions of a camera or uh, a video. Also, um, in the settings, you got other types of grids. You just choose whatever you want to have a crosshair for example if you want to you know have it centered somehow you know that you can just stay here depending on what you want to do basically and uh, you've got settings for the frame rate and flicker reduction this is pretty much what you'll have for the settings on the camera app um, if you find that the picture quality isn't right. Uh, I can tell you one thing. This app is not that, you know, it's not a professional app. It doesn't have tweaks for ha having lighting or stuff like that, changing um, whatever. You know, it's like here, my camera is very crappy. The camera on this webcam is amazingly crappy. And you can see it here, and you can see how it's not very good when it's dark, yet it does work. Here it goes. But depending on the quality of the camera, you'll have more or less um, you know, quality in the picture that you take. So a good quality cam will actually do the job itself. Very often the cam is the um, really what makes the great videos or the great pictures, not the settings that you'll choose uh, most of the time. And uh, also in the camera app, everything that you do is automatically saved into your file explorer you just go into the pictures folder on your computer and once you're on the pictures folder 
you have camera roll. That's where everything is safe. So here you see the videos I took. You see the pictures I took of myself. If I click one, it opens the picture and so on. That's where everything is saved. And in the app, you have on the right side a, a option where you can change that. So if you go into the camera app again, let's do it again. Right side on the uh, settings, just at the bottom here, you have change where photos and videos are saved. This will help you change. Maybe you'd want to have a, by default on the SD card and so on. Also, you have choose whether camera can use location info. Um, why would a camera want to use location info? Simple. Say you went on vacation, you took some pictures with your tablet. You come back home, six months later, you look at the pictures and you say, hmm, where was this taken? I don't remember. Well, with location, the pictures are tagged with where you were. So you'll have an idea where you were and what was that picture, basically. And um, if it doesn't work, make sure that you look at your privacy settings. In all settings, privacy, go into camera on the left side. Make sure that it's on to let you apps use the camera because it won't work if that is off. And if there's no picture, there's an error message. Maybe you need to update the drivers of your webcam. That is very, very important. If you enjoyed my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And uh, basically, if you have comments, questions, anything you want to know, let us know. We'll try to post that video online. And thank you so much for following us.